Well, this morning it's expected that thousands of people will make their way to downtown Indianapolis as the highly anticipated special session gets underway. Well, we've been talking about this all morning long, really for weeks. That session starts in less than five hours now. We're checking in with Samantha Johnson again. Samantha, any action happening downtown yet? Not a ton of action down here yet, Julia, but I can tell you we've noticed an increased police presence since the last time we saw you. We've seen a couple more folks driving by. And of course, this is all ahead of Vice President Kamala Harris making her way to Indianapolis to meet with state lawmakers on day one of this special session. So let me tell you what we know right now about her visit. We know that she is expected to meet with the Democratic Caucus at 930 this morning. She's also expected to attend a rally here at the State House before continuing meetings later this afternoon. So that special session starts at 11 o'clock this morning. That's when senators will head into the chambers to start discussions on Senate Bill 1. And as it's written right now, it bans abortions except in cases of rape, incest, or to protect the life of the mother. We know lawmakers are expecting hours of testimony from the public before the committee considers any amendments and then votes on Friday. And guys, I can also tell you it's not too late for you to sign up to testify in front of state lawmakers. If you're interested, you can actually do that right now through the Indiana General Assembly website, or you can actually do it here in person just outside the Senate chambers starting at noon today. So guys, we will be here throughout the morning as things get underway with that testimony scheduled to start at one o'clock. Guys, Samantha, thank you. Also today, lawmakers will begin debate on how to help Hoosiers deal with high inflation. We have a pretty good idea of the plans. It'll be in Senate Bill 3, so it would suspend the sales tax on utility payments, also cap the gasoline tax, and make some payments towards teacher pensions and help infrastructure projects that are over budget because of inflation. So what does all of this mean for you? Well, according to SoFi, the average Hoosier household spends $367.51 just on utilities a month. Now, suspending the gas tax on that would save an average of $25.73 in that same time. As for the gasoline tax, it's calculated off the price of gasoline in the month prior. So the price of gas has fallen 20% or about 80 cents since its peak in May. So the state gas tax, it is not on track to go much higher next month. Some good news, but the House wants to pass the governor's plan for $225 in tax rebates. Now both chambers have until August 14th to strike some sort of deal there.